Hello, I'm Bob Blackman, Member of Parliament for Harrow East and delighted to be able to report to you the activities we're doing in the UK to encourage the people of Iran to believe that freedom is on its way. The terrible regime, an oppressive regime that you've suffered for so long is clearly panicking now under the protests of the people. The will of the people cannot be contained and I salute those that are taking the brave decision to go on strike and to demonstrate even though you face terrible oppression uh, from the regime that currently uh, rules you and the despotic rule that operates. I and many other colleagues in the United Kingdom and across the world send you the strong signal that we are standing in solidarity with you. We have taken up your cause in the UK Parliament, uh, in the European Parliament and in all the functions of, of the world where we can. We stand with you and we support uh, Mariam Rajavari, who is clearly the leader of the opposition uh, who can, I think, restore Iran to the will of the people and clearly has a plan that can ensure that people will be able to live in freedom, in dignity and restore human rights to Iran. So uh, we will be joining with colleagues from across the world in Paris at the end of this month to come together in a rally for peace and for peaceful transition in Iran. We look forward to the address of Mariam Rajari. We look forward to the various different addresses from people from many different countries, all speaking with the same voice. And that is the people of Iran will be free. It is only a question of time. So I, my message to you is, please continue your peaceful protests. Please ensure that the message of the people is known by the regime that currently forces you uh, to live in oppressed circumstances. The will of the people cannot be denied and we will see that will uh, ensure that we, we have freedom delivered to the people of Iran. We are also seeking the IRGC to be a prescribed organisation uh, both in the UK but across Europe and beyond. We want to see their terrorist activities stopped, their assets frozen and the money that has been illegally taken from the Iranian people returned to the people so that everyone will benefit. I think that we are making good progress on achieving that at an international level. And I'm delighted that uh, the Prime Minister of Israel has made the comments uh, only this week to say that where Iran wants to destroy Israel, Israel says freedom to the people of Iran. I think that's the message of the world to the regime. Please listen to your people, give up the oppression, give them the opportunity to live with expressing human rights, to live with dignity, to ensure there is freedom of religion, freedom uh, to celebrate uh, people's religion, but not only that, freedom to participate in appropriate activities, criticize the regime, and ensure a peaceful transition to a proper democratic government so that Iran can take its true and proper place in the world as a key nation contributing to the world in a democratic way and ensuring that the, the views and the, and the will of the people are prominent.